Yeah. Um, I'm so glad we got Stephanie on because you know what we need you to do for us. Can <laughs> <laughs> you please pray for us? Absolutely. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we would be remiss if we first and foremost don't acknowledge you, oh God. Just acknowledge you for your very being, oh God. We acknowledge you for who you are right now, Lord, oh God. We acknowledge you for who you are and your faithfulness and your forgiveness, your love, your mercy, and your grace, oh God. And we give you all praise, glory, and honor, Lord, for you are truly worthy of our glory and our honor and our praise, oh God. And Father, we just pray that you just place your hand upon this Bible study tonight, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you give us discerning ears, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you help us to be doers of your word and not hearers of your word, deceiving ourselves, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you allow this word to saturate in our minds and in our hearts and in our for us, oh God. Teach Teach and instruct us and direct us through your word tonight, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you allow your word to increase in us, oh God, so that we can grow and continue to go forth in what you have for us according to your word and your will, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you remove the hand of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. And we pray, Lord, that you enable us to receive everything that you allow to be instructed tonight, Lord, so that we can use it in our everyday lives, oh God, to bring glory to your name and be a blessing to and for others, Lord. We pray and ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Minister Thank Devout. you, Sister Steph. You have the floor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you. So yeah, so right now we um so God put in my heart. We've been I've been on my spirit for like the last week about Joseph. And I'm happy that y'all sister joy because you know, it's you know, not to see who else spirit, man, but we need more Josephs out here. So I'm coming out of the NFV Bible, Matthew 1, 18 down at 24. And this is when Joseph accepts Jesus as his son. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had a man to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and, gave, and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consolidate their marriage until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Amen. 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 And I'm Amen. Like, yes, we're, we're, we're lacking a lot of Joseph. And like I say, and this is, um, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you, but feeling alone, like nobody understand what you're going through can be crippling. Never forget that God is always standing with you. But there are few cases of faith as impressive as with Joseph in the church. Mary, rece Mary received far more attention than Joseph. But I believe that his faith was tested in a very similar way. Many men are insecure about the idea of an unfaithful partner. Faced with a pregnant wife that he knows he did not have sex with, Joseph is met with a serious dilemma. How many men could handle that in today's time? You tell somebody that you're, you're pregnant, and, gotta, there, and, and there's not a lot of Josephs running around. And does he trust her, or does he do what many would do and believe that she was unfaithful? Which I think, he gonna believe the people, Unfaith at this day and time in Solomon Gomorrah days, nobody there's J Joseph's just don't exist. 
But we know there's some out there. His faith was so strong that he was able to remain steadfast, patient with his love for Mary and for God. As the title of this devotional suggests, God was with him all along, reassuring him when he was most needed. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And, and the prayer to that is just Heavenly Father, Father to me and to Joseph, Father to Mary and to Jesus, I thank you for caring about us. Abba, Father, I have doubted you and been weary of others when I could have been faithful. I ask that you clear my doubts and let there be no questions of your power and presence. Help me to see that you surely rule with love and truth over all of eternity in heaven. Amen. 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 So Amen. I'll, let, I'll let you start, Spirit Man. You don't need man, you know, saying what you think about the Josephs. Well, I'll tell you like this. This day and age, if I was still out in the world and a girl told me she ain't had sex when she was pregnant, I'll tell her to give me some what you drinking and smoking because I don't believe it. <laughs> Let's keep it real now. Let's keep, Let's it, keep real. it real. Let's keep it real out on this battlefield. You yes. Know? Hey, hey, hey. And, and the thing about it is because biblical times, which you just read, okay, we see the evidence that this was true. But in this day and age, you could be hoodwinked in a second because you got conniving mm -hmm. men, and men that don't want to be men, and you got conniving women. Not being smart, but we know they're out there, you know, because you'll find out. The ones that said, I do, I do, really mean they don't, they don't. You know, they they say I'm faithful, but they're not. They say, I'm the only one in your life. But okay, well, I'm the only one in your life. But who's Joe? Okay, and, and who's Mark? Who, who, what are you talking about? Well, these numbers appeared on my phone. Hey, baby, how you doing? It, oh, that ain't my friends. Who are you they? You know, let's keep it real. So in this day and time, I tell you, that's a hard one to swallow. But if you realize, what may all this come to light when you realize when you're reading the scripture, especially what it says, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit came to visit mm -hmm. him in a dream. To visit him in a dream. Mm -hmm. Now, ain't nobody in the corner walked up to him and said, hey, man, that, that is your baby. Nobody on the corner did that. This, this was... The Holy Spirit, while he was sleeping, yeah. came to him in a dream. And the dream mm -hmm. he told him, you could take her home with you because that is your wife. And she has not been unfaithful. And what you don't know, you know why they say um, Joseph didn't do nothing to after the baby was born? Joseph was Sullivan. And that reminds me of me because I've been Sullivan for a good while now. You know, so I, I, I can relate to that part. I can relate to that. You know, it's not enough Joseph out here because men don't know how to be Joseph. You know, and me, me, myself, I don't consider myself a Joseph. I consider myself too many people like Samson and David because the way my life runs. <laughs> you know, so that's the truth. I'm going to turn the floor back over to you. Amen. Do any y'all sisters have anything to say about Joseph and Mary? It's like for me, people take their focus off of what God is saying and what he's doing. You know what I mean? And come up with their own ideas and their own thoughts. Meanwhile, you missing it. This is like Jay said, this is from the Holy Spirit. So in your finite mind, you can't wrap your head around it. But if you trust God, you know that thing is real. You know it's legit because it comes from God. That's in his word. And he can't lie. God placed his word above his throne. So you know that how much you feel about his word. So we need to focus on God and what he's saying rather than how we perceive it to be. You know what I mean? Just trust God and know that it's from him. Amen. That's why he say, hey, one, you got to serve one God. And the whole thing with religious always come down to Jesus. Oh, he was a prophet. There's no way a virgin. And, and a lot of people just don't believe it because mm -hmm. like, like, you know, like, like Reverend James said, it at this day of time, it's like too unbelievable. People going to be like, no, nah, there's no way you pregnant. And, and they, hey, it's 
It's the word. It's the Bible. It's the, hey, it's the basic instructions before leaving earth. Hey, I'm mm -hmm. a believer. I, be, I believe it. Amen. 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 Because uh, truth tell it, if the spirit came into my dream to tell me this, I'm not going to doubt it, and especially since I'm a walker of Christ. If I belong to him and the Holy Spirit came to visit me to tell me this, I better believe or I have doubt in my mind. If I have doubt there, how can I be a follower of Christ? You know, I know he's being born, but how could I be worthy of his word? You get me? Mm -hmm. How can I be worthy of his word if I don't have faith as a mustard seed to believe this Holy Spirit, what he's telling me, and believe it's the Holy Spirit talking to me? Amen? Amen. And then, like, in the next verse, you know what I'm saying, in the verse directly proceeding to these verses, Joseph planned to send Mary away secretly, you know what I'm saying? And that's that's a blessing. Like I said, more Joseph, like, he he's like, look, I don't even want her to feel, you know, like, you know, today's time, like, I don't want to say it, but, you know, y'all know what I'm getting at. Yeah. But, so, he was he sent her away secretly so she would not be disgraced. And we could assume that this was a difficult decision, like you said, Reverend James. For Joseph, he was choosing to send away the woman that he wanted to marry, and he had been faithful to her, and she now told him that she was pregnant. He must have felt alone, like a lot of us Christians. This walk is definitely lonely. A lot of us is alone on this walk, and he still wanted to treat her with respect. Respect. You know what I'm saying? A lot of men is like, you know, respect for women, you know what I'm saying? Especially virtuous women, you know what I'm saying? We, we need we need that respect for us to give you the respect about respect is given as is received. And do, even though he thought that she might have replicated this, God came to him, reassured him, reward him for his faith by rewarding Joseph and Mary. God rewarded us all and they were never alone and neither are, are we. And and that's what we're lacking, you know, in this in, in, in this walk, you know, saying like, you know, we're not alone, but a lot of us Christians, like you say, it's it's it's, it's a mystery sometimes when you, you when you think about some of this stuff in this book. But hey, it's the book of life. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And also, Amen. And also, he had to be strong enough and man enough to say. I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm not going to take you out, run you through the mud, carry you down the street, tell everybody what you did. I'm still going mm -hmm. to cover you with the covering I have. Hey, man. I, you know, I'm, I'm just going to get you out of town, you know, send you so far, far away where somebody don't know you or something. You know, I'm not going to have you be shamed. You know, after all, I was getting ready to marry you. Now, what, what type of husband even though he's not sure about this baby, would would uh, take his wife and disrespect her in front of everybody. Because we start doing it then, he'll do it when you get married. You get my drift? Amen. Amen. I mean, he was definitely an awesome man of God. I mean, I mean, I, I couldn't imagine being, like you said, we living in today's time, could none of us imagine a man being like Joseph. Like, and we're lacking him, but like you say, Hey, God, you know, he, he calls the man to be a head in the churches. The churches is just filled up with women. We're lacking men. And as you said, you know, earlier, Reverend James, like you got to be, it, it takes a man, you know, so you got to be courageous to accept that change and accept Jesus Christ in your heart. And some men run from Christ all the way till they die. And you definitely, like you say, you need that strong woman, you know what I'm saying, to be there. And that's why we're considered their helpmate. Amen. Hello? Amen. 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 I agree with you, honey. Yes, I mean, like, Amen. we're, we're, we're lacking it, you know, and that's why I mean, like, right now, marriages is under attack, you know what I'm saying? People are scared to even, you know, commit, because like you said, we, we're, us as Christian women, you know, we don't know if these men is really real, because it's so short, you know, it's a shortage in the church. It's a shortage. <laughs> I mean, God, I'm not <laughs> saying, I know you're really <laughs> laughing over there. <laughs> I'm just saying if the Bible says you know don't buy the fruit. I really don't care what come out your mouth. How do you live your life? You feel me? Because Amen. you can say one thing, you live in another. I'm Amen. looking at you the, like when the Bible says you know don't buy the fruit. Yeah. Fruit is godly characteristics. 
Yeah. How are you presenting yourself? How yes. are you carrying yourself? How are you yes. treating this woman that you're with from yes. the gate? You know what I mean? I'm yes. looking at you seeing how you get down. That's what I'm looking at. Yeah. And then if your actions match what come out your mouth, then I know, you know what I mean? It's yeah. legit. So that's how yeah. I, I look at it. Yeah. You know them by their fruit. You know yeah. them by their character. Yes. Amen. 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 I, I, I'm glad you brought that up, Steph. Because you know what Jesus did to the fig tree because they had no fruit on it. So, so, it, that, it, that, that fig tree uh, died. So, you know, yeah. if you're watching a significant other, it's supposed to be Christ's follower. Uh -huh. And you don't see the fruit coming off this tree. Holiness, pureness, faithfulness, mm, all same. these things. And, it, and, and, and you don't see none of them. It's time to rebuke that tree and move away from it. And next time That's you it. see it, it's going to be withered. Amen? Amen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got to think about challenges in our life. And, and why do you view it as a challenge and not a gift? Like I said, we got to put ourselves in Mary's shoes, too. You know, ladies, like, hey, sometimes we get tested and we might, we might not see it. You know what I'm saying? We're looking at it as, no, I'm not doing it. Like, just think about when Mary had to say, how am I going to tell this man I'm pregnant? I mean, how, you know, that was a challenge for her too, but it was a gift from God, but it was a challenge. Amen? That's Amen. That's not, that's not easy for, for probably for Mary neither. Mm -mm. That probably wasn't easy for Mary at all neither. And evidence of all this is you will name him Emmanuel, God with us. He's That's with it. us right now. He's right with us. He's with us right now. And evidence of the word along with this tells you God is real. God is mm -hmm. real. Amen. 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 Yeah. I mean, he'll, he'll come to a lot of us in our dreams. And like you say, sometimes it'd be so challenging where we don't do it. And then, like you said, you're going to get a spiritual, you don't get away with nothing. Like I say, he's the alpha and omega, you know, the beginning and the yeah, end. He yeah. threw us in the womb. We could be like, oh, I'm not going to do that, Lord. Well, guess what? Hey, your life is going to be going in a roller coaster because he's going <laughs> to get his way. It's not our way, it's his way. Amen. And, and a lot of us, a lot of us think, oh no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Then we be on the wrong job. We be in the wrong relationship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We be in the wrong, you know what I'm saying, neighborhood. We be around the wrong people because we're thinking we're trying to do it our way. Amen. No, you it's not do, our way. Try, it's not our to way. The, try to do it the fleshly way instead of the holy way. You know, let's keep it real. Our minds run sometime to the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And that's why repentance is so important, mm -hmm. you know, because you have to repent because if people actually told, if we, if we could actually read the other thoughts, we would look at you sometimes like, huh? If we could actually read the other thoughts, you get it? So our, our defense is rebuking in Jesus' name. That's why he came here. Rebuking in Jesus' name. I don't want them thoughts. I don't want them actions. And Lord, please get me out of here. Amen. Mm. Amen. Man. He'll always make a way of escape. All we gotta That's do is take it. That's it's right. up to us to do that. Amen. Amen. I mean, and we gotta go to repentance, you know, saying like hey, like Lord, I was a filthy rag. Lord, I was a sinner. Lord, mm. forgive me. I was around the wrong people. Lord Jesus, I was in a wrong relationship. Lord Jesus, I was, I mean, and some of us can't do that in pride. People have that pride. I'm not going, I'm not, and that's why a lot of people stay in their flesh because of pride. I'm not gonna tell him I'm filthy. I'm not gonna go tell him I was the raper man. I'm not telling him I was the murderer, I was the adulteress, you know, saying I was the no good, you know, saying sibling friend family member so no and pride that's your pride getting in the way of whoo buddy huh yeah yeah you gotta let go of that pride you gotta go with humility you know what i'm saying i was a filthy rag lord jesus forgive me and that's where a lot of people you know what i'm saying don't want to repent because they want to hold on to it. You know, you have people to say, well, I'm just going to take this to my grave. I'd be like, oh, and I'm going to pray for you. I don't want to take nothing to my grave that ain't of God. Amen? Amen. I want it all out. You know what I'm saying? No, there's something. I'm taking it to my grave. I'd be like, oh, I'm going to pray for you. You know? Amen? 
you think about this. They said they're going to take it to their grave. And then when they show up at the gate, God said, well, I can't help you. Why? You brought something I didn't tell you to bring with you. Amen. They just... <laughs> Amen. You, you see, you take it to your grave. Now you want. Now you think I want to permit it in heaven. That's not flying. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh, boy. And the thing about Joseph, he remained faithful to Mary. He remained faithful to her. Mm -hmm. Even after the angel came. After he found out the angel when the angel came and told him he can't marry her. He washed all over, cared for her. I don't know. I don't know if I could have made that ride on a donkey if I was a woman. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> pregnant. Uh, and, you know, because I know y'all women get moved so y'all get pregnant. You know, I got too many sisters to prove that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what I'm trying to get at was like he waited to after the baby was born. Then mm -hmm. he was no virgin no more because he finally had his wife that he waited for. Now see, that's another thing. Christian men, true Christian men, I I don't want to. You know, I, I don't want them to think all men's like this. True Christian men will wait for the time mm -hmm. after you marry, not before. Yes, mm -hmm. it's hard, but if you keep looking to God and keep walking with God, you know, that's that's why, mm -hmm. like, when God found me, I had some rough edges on me when He finally moved that. That lust and that sin part away from me, I was good. I I learned how to be celibate, you know, and I'm still celibate. That's why that's why I smile every day, because whatever God has for me is in His time, not mine. So I'm being faithful to God right now. I care less about anybody else. That we did not mean to say I don't care about people, but my body is the temple of God. Whatever you put in is what you get out. You know, so if you're a drinker, it, it, people drink and they say, why, why ain't God talking to me? He asked you to be a sober mind. How are you going to have you? Your, your mind's always gone somewhere, you know. And do you have the ones that call out to God when they sick, puking over the toilet or, or, or the drugs got a hold of them? As soon as they get well, they... Run right back out there. They last a week or two. Why? Because they didn't take God with them and they didn't stay away from them areas. They went right back to the same pattern, the same path. They got off of God's path and went to their own path. Familiarity. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And even, like I said, we could jump over to like Matthew 5, 3, when he said, bless or the poor in spirit, for there's the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst of righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, and they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. For blessed are those who are persecuted because of the righteousness, for in for their for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And blessed are you when people insult you. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Because I, I I get insulted all the time. I'm talking about all the time. And I know that I'm in God's will. Please insult me. Persecute you and falsely say all kinds of evil against you. Yes, I, I go through that too. They slander my name, throw me, throw my name through the mud. But hey, blessed, you know what I'm saying? kind of evil get you because of me rejoice and be glad just as i did because great is your reward in heaven for the same way they persecuted the prophet who were before you so like you say that's been going on before my time like i say so if somebody say they hate me hey i know i'm in god's will hey i love you i pray for you amen amen 
Yes. And I mean, and we're going to go through that in, that, in this walk. We're going to be falsely accused. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be talking about, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be hated. But like you say, they were before our time. Amen. Amen. And you got to be strong in this. You know what I'm saying? This is this walk is not for the weak. It's not, you know what I'm saying, for no poke. You know what I'm saying? This is like you say, and a lot of people choose not to change because you got to have courage to change. And people's lacking courage. And, and the next one go down to about the soul in the light. You are the soul of the earth. But if the soul loses the saltiness, oh my goodness, how can it be made salty again? It no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under your foot. You yes. are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Mm -hmm. Instead, they put it on its stand and give its light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others and they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Amen, amen. That's what we are here for. Hey, for the light. The soul in the light. Amen. You got to walk in the light. You can't walk in the dark and call yourself a, a child of Christ. Amen. There's no, there's no darkness in him. And if he's the habit, there's no darkness in you. I don't say you won't be challenged. I don't say you will be in dark places as long as you ain't in the dark. You know what I mean by that? You walk through the valley of the shadow of dark, but you fear no evil because your wrath, your staff, and your staff of cover is with me because God is covering you with his light. Amen. 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 By, this, by, this, by this going on, we may be going somewhere. And we didn't know what was get ready to counter. But as a bearer of light, God shined his light all the way down that path. We was like walking right through things. Nobody seen us. If y'all get what I mean. Or do I need to explain that a little bit more? <laughs> what I mean by that is we get into situations with people. Because we all know Everybody we around are not Christians. Mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of people we associate have dark sides. And these dark sides are not of Joseph. They're of the enemy of the devil. In other words, you know, Joseph to me was a light. That was God's light because he already sent the angel to tell him that you could take her. Mm -hmm. So by doing that, he knew he was walking in the light. And you know what? When an angel come and visit you in your sleep and identify something that you was getting ready to go, like, oh, I'm going to get rid of her. You know, I'm not going to embarrass her, but I got to get her away from me. When you find out that you didn't have to, because the angel came and told you that it is your baby, that it, she is pregnant but with a child from God. Amen. Amen. Yes, and I got, you know, I got the scripture to back up with you, like with you and Sister Steph just said, you know, Matthew 7, 15 about true and false prophets. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but mm -hmm. inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Bad their yeah. fruit, you will recognize them. <laughs> Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistle, thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot a good tree cannot bear bad fruit, and a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Every tree that mm -hmm. does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus by their fruit, and you will recognize them. And for the true and false disciples, not everyone who say to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the ones who does the will of my father who is in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not <laughs> prophecy in your name and in your name drive out demons and in your name perform many miracles? Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evil doers. Amen. So hey, don't hey, don't 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 use don't use his name in vain. Don't blaspheme our God. Cause like you say, there is punishment. He gives. Hey, I do not know you. 
Amen. 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 And and it's funny because when he uses the sheep, the sheep is defenseless. The sheep have no like other creatures, they got something to defend themselves with. Sheep have nothing. Even when he get bugs on him. See, when you hear the word anointing, I anoint your head with oil. That was the oil they put on the sheep to keep the sheep from getting these bugs on them. The reason I'm going there with this mm -hmm. because if you think about a sheep uh, and he's our shepherd and we're a sheep, we mm -hmm. could be led astray by the wrong thing if we don't pay attention and keep our eyes focused on God. Amen? That's it. Amen. You know? So I, I tell everybody, if you want to call me a dumb sheep, I'll be that all day. I just don't want to be no goat. You know? Okay. Okay? But um, even hey, uh, what was that scripture at? Wait a minute. When Joseph begged the angel, when he when the angel told him, and it says right here, Joseph acknowledged the angel. So when he acknowledged the angel, that means he had faith from God that he was going. That was that was uh, Mary's baby, and she did not mm -hmm. she did not go out and cheat on him. She didn't do no 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 activities. She was she still was a virgin. She was pregnant she was uh, um a virgin and that's kind of hard to find nowadays virgins <laughs> <laughs> because this world is so tore up from the floor up and our children are suffering the price the reason i say that because kids are having kids Oh yeah, and they're not being raised with no Christian values, and what they, what parents fail to realize, you tell your kid not to cuss, and meanwhile you're on the phone cussing everybody. So why, why mm. do you think you're not gonna cuss? Or you know, are you having the wrong people in your house at the wrong hours of the night? I wonder why your child's growing up like that. What you teach mm -hmm. them is what you get. And I gotta give I gotta give honor to the vow. And I, I you know, I, I gotta give it to her. She raised she had two boys and she keeps them grounded in the word. In the word. My hat's off to you. And and, and my son, you know, what I'm saying my wild child, everybody know him, man, man. He just basically, you know what I'm saying? He just gave his he's about to give his life to Christ again. He got baptized at seven. And now he's, you know, he's sober minded. The devil been using him for 20 years to get at me because he can't touch me. And we went to church at Mount Air and he went back to his church home and he took the walk and he's about you know, he took the class and he's about to get baptized again, you know what I'm saying? So keep my son in prayer. And then now he's like, you know what I'm saying, mom, now he's seeing clearly. I said, praise God. So I'm going to tell anybody, say, train up a child. I put him in church at five right. years old. And, and for 20 years, the devil been using him trying to get at me. But God, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, ordered his steps, you know what I'm saying? And now he don't repent it. And he's ready to take that walk and, and get baptized again. And, you know, I, and I thank the Lord, you know what I'm saying? I give the you know God all the glory, the mercy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For you know what I'm saying, because I had to I had to let him know, Lord, I'm just his earthly mother. That's yours, that's yours, you know, because it's written. Parents will put their kids to death, and kids will put their, you know, you know, their parents to death. And I told him, Boy, you ain't gonna kill me. But I thank God in the midst of you know saying my storm that God was able to, you know, reorder his steps, you know what I'm saying? And he's about he said, Mom, I'm ready. You know, on his own, call me up, said, Mom, I'm ready, you know, saying, you know, that you know, come on back, you know, saying. I, you know, I'm a believer, you know what I'm saying? He said, mom, you know, you didn't show. So I know that, you know, train your child up. I trained him about five. I done got weak and weary like, Lord, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's getting it, but God, like you say, that's not our timing. It's God's time. And it might not happen next year. Like you say, I'm on a 20 year verge, but I had to stay strong. I had to stay steadfast. I had to keep my faith like a mustard seed, knowing that, Lord, this devil is not going to have my baby. And I had to drop on those knees and say, Lord, you know what I'm saying? This is your child. You watch over him. And I thank him. I thank him. And then I even had to let him know, you know what I'm saying? My mom, when she passed 21 years ago, 
her words to me was, you know what I'm saying? I'm quitting my job tomorrow because I'm going to take on a man, man. And I said, mom, you can't take on him. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I raised my sons and my brothers and this and that. I said, mom, he's a different breed. I said, I get a phone call that he's running around on Frank's house. You can't keep up with him. But my mom, she passed away that night. And I told him, I said, you know what? My mom, you know what I'm saying? God mm -hmm. took her home because she had to be your guardian angel from above and keep you from all them, you know, all them, you know, the devil when he tried to come for you. So I thank my mom, you know, for being his guardian angel. She, she didn't, you know, say she, she told me she was going to quit her job and watch over him, but she had to watch over him from the most high, you know, saying God was like, okay, I got to take you on home daughter. Cause this one right here, I got to, you got to be his guardian angel. So I thank my mom, you know, saying for being his guardian angel, being all of our guardian angels, you know, saying it, and it's been a long road, you know, saying it's been a long road, 20 years, but yes, I thank, I thank the Lord, you know, saying for keeping my baby in the midst, you know, saying when yes. he was lost, when he was in the dark, and, and I can't wait to see him get baptized and dipped again next one. I'm like so excited, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because nobody, you know, what I'm saying, want to see their kid out there lost and dark. And I'm like, I trained you up, you know, what I'm saying, get it, get it. But please, you know, what I'm saying, whoever's listening, if you train your child up young, don't give up. It might not happen in five right. years. But I had to wait 20, but I was patient. You see, patience is a virtue, and, and that's a must, and I had to be patient, because if I wasn't, I was like, this boy going to kill me. But God, mm -hmm. but God, mm -hmm. but God. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I, wow. I have to, I said, I'm going to give God one. I gave him 100% like three weeks. I said, Lord, I'm giving you 100%. And when I gave him 100%, I said, I got the phone call from my son. I'm ready, mom. And I said, thank you. He says, yes, you know, so that sometimes when you got children out there, please, you know, what I'm saying you will bless your kids or you will curse your kids. But I choose to kept speaking life all them years, no matter what was yeah. going on. And I, and I thank the Lord for, you know, saying just, you know, keeping me, you know what I'm saying? In the midst of that storm, you know what I'm saying? I thank him, I thank him, I thank him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Amen. Yes. And and, and I and I want to commend, you know, you know, Reverend James for, you know, even getting on here, you know, and saying that he's a celibate man. There's a lot of men who don't want to say that, you know, what I'm saying in public because mm -hmm. they're too much doing adultery, you know, what I'm saying they're too much being sad men and and you know, and the list go on, you know, what I'm saying, and there ain't a lot of men who's willing to even be celibate to marriage. So I really commend you, Reverend James, for even, you know, letting the whole world know that there is men out there who who can be faithful. Amen, ladies. That's right. Amen. Amen. We got to commend him, you know? That's it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's not no easy walk. It's not. It's not. But I thank you, you know, for your obedience, you know, and let other men, you know, even to say it through to the world, you know, that there is a man who could be celibate and be obedient to the Lord. And 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 that and that's not easy for a man. Like I say, because men, y'all deal with temptation, lust, you know, everything. You know, we we go we go back to the Adam and Eve, but that we will we'll need another hour for the Adam and Eve. But that's a blessing, you know. Huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Um. Anybody need prayer or anything they want to say? Testimony. Oh, matter of fact, Candace, you have a testimony for us. Would you just stop it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm sitting here listening to you guys, and I'm also doing, um, unfortunately, some work that I had to do for for um job related. And um, so I'm talking to them, and but I'm listening to you guys. So I'm also getting a lot out of it, you know. You need any prayer? You need any prayer, sis? Um, you know, I'm I'm considering um um relocating, and mm -hmm. um, you know, um, uh, just just keep me in prayer. Um, you know that I'm making the right move. I'm asking God, and it seems like He's putting stuff, you know, in my way to it, it and putting stuff you know, there um, for me to relocate. And um, I, I have a friend, I, I I always wanted to move to California permanently. And I have a friend out there who I stay in touch with. And uh, she has a master's degree and she's she's been out there, she's from Pittsburgh and she's been out there living in, in her car for months. And wow. um, 
Yeah, it's deep. It's deep. Um, and and uh, you know, she stays prayed up and everything, and you know, and 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 um, I I just I, I just started contacting her and staying in touch with her, and I'm I'm just waiting to see, you know, if God lines it up so that I can go out and 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 actually help her be of assistance, and you know, we can try to do things together. Um, she doesn't want to come back to Pittsburgh, so. Um, right now, that's I'm I'm really seriously considering it, and um, so just keep me in prayer. Did I did I make the right move? Just um, mm -hmm. just Pittsburgh is just um, you know I, I just I just had enough. I just I'm not happy here. I know you take yourself with you wherever you go, you know, <laughs> but I feel I feel like I can be happier. Uh, I can be less depressed anyhow somewhere, you know, with sunshine and. And, uh, you know, I pray that God leads me to a, to a church. When I was out there as a travel nurse years ago, I fell in love with the church and maybe I can get back in, you know, into there and, you know, so yeah, just, just keep me, just keep me in prayer. Um, you know, as far as, um, mm -hmm. you know, my, my, um, not my testimony, you know, I, I've been through everything, like every young woman that made every, every mistake because I basically, you know, I just made best, bad choices and I didn't come from a great environment and, you know, and I had to learn everything pretty much the hard way. Um, mm -hmm. you know, went to church like, like man, man, and, you know, at an early age and, and, uh, you know, and, and, and it did start dawning to me later on in life when I felt like I didn't have nowhere else to turn to, but God, um, mm -hmm. that, um, you know, things started coming together for me, you know, it's like you said, honey, everybody in their own time. And I'm really glad that man, man is, is, uh, you know, is making them steps, you know, one day at a time mm -hmm. though, you know, mm -hmm. I walked away from drugs and alcohol and, and men that didn't make me no good, you know, and I'm, and I know if I, if I fall away from God, I know I'm capable of going back, you know? So, you know, it's just, it, 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 it's, it's one, one day at a time and um, one prayer at a time. So Amen. You know, Amen. That's, that's where I'm at. So say a prayer for me, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're going to say and one right give, now. Give, give, you, give, your, give, your, give, give me your, um, get, let them know your um, friend's name so we can lift her name up in prayer with you. Sure. Um, her name is Tanika Bryant. And uh, she's from the she's from Manchester, and I I've known her since she was a kid. She's like she's like your age, uh, honey. She's like a niece okay. to me. Yeah, okay. and I don't know how she did it. And by the grace of God, you know she survived in her car in L.A. in over a year now. So, mm. well, y'all want to lift Kanika Brand and Candace Jackson up in prayer? We'll go Amen. We'll go, huh? we'll go. We'll go lift her up, but you can pray. Okay, gotcha. What'd you say, Reverend James? What'd you say? Miss Laval, you could pray. You, we're going Kanika, you say Kanika Brad, Candace? Uh -huh, Tanika. Tanika Nikki. Brad. Nikki is her name. Uh huh. Nikki. Nikki. You want to lift them up in prayer, Steph? Y'all want me to do it or you can go do it? You can do it, Steph. <laughs> And, and you got to kind of pray right out that again because you got to do the closing. I'll do the closing. Okay. There is that. Uh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just come before you right now, invoking your presence, oh God. We know, Lord, that in your presence is the fullness of joy, oh God. And Father, we know that there's nothing too hard for you. You can do all but fail, oh God. So, Father, we pray that you move. Move on Tanika's behalf, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you open up that financial door that she needs for you to open, Lord, that will lead to that residential door that she needs for you to open in her life, oh God. Yes, we Lord. pray, Lord, in the meantime, that you continue to build your hedges of protection all around her, oh God. Keep yes, her Lord. safe from hurt, harm, and danger, oh God, and yes. continue to place your hand upon her, Lord. Continue yes. to work. We know, Lord, that you are working behind the scenes and that you are going to manifest each and every blessing that she's seeking you for and believing you for for her life, oh God. And we thank you in advance by faith in Jesus' name. Father, we lift Candace up to you, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you give her spiritual guidance, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you clear up every misunderstanding, every 
deceitful tactic that the enemy is coming at her with, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you clear up any confusion, any doubt, that you speak to her with clarity, surety, and certainty, oh God. We pray, Lord, that you reveal your will to her in her spirit, oh God, and that you give her peace in what you reveal to her, Lord. Whatever you reveal to her, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you give her a spirit of obedience and to go in a direction and the way that you will lead and guide her into, Lord, because we know, Lord, that you are all-knowing and you know know what's best for her. She is your child and you love her, Lord, and you want what's best for her. So we pray, Lord, that you just lead and guide her to where you want her to be according to your will yeah. for her life, Lord. We pray and ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank stand, you, guys. We all stand in agreement for you. Yes, Thank I you. touch and agree. We touch, yes. I touch and agree. Yes. 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 We all Amen. touch and agree on that. Amen. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you go have to do the uh, prayer, uh, Naval, because we, we, we're on the borderline. Oh, okay. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Well, thank you, Lord Jesus, for just another day, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, just for yeah. giving me the strength, Lord Jesus, to just get on and do Bible study again, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for those who join, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for, you know, just waking us up, Lord Jesus. Thank you for everything. Like, we give you all the praise, the mercy, the glory, and the love, Lord Jesus. Just keep us, Lord Jesus, clothed in a right man, Lord Jesus. Just Thank bless you. all of us from the soul of our you know what I'm saying, our feet, you know what I'm saying, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, just mm -hmm. let us have an understanding of what's going on in this world, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, give us clarity in mm -hmm. our mind, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, just help us when we're lost, Lord Jesus. Just give us strength when we're weak, Lord Jesus. Just heal us when we're sick, Lord Jesus. We just rebuke any attack that might kind of come up to us, right, in, in this midst of this act, Lord Jesus. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, I'm going to pray for my family, Lord Jesus. I'm praying for my siblings, Lord Jesus, for my nieces and nephews, Lord Jesus, just sanctify them, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, that they would even hear this, you know what I'm saying, Bible study, Lord Jesus, just let them know that they have a praying family member, that I'm praying for their repentance, Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and cover all of us in the blood of Jesus, amen? Amen. Amen and amen, amen. 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 It's, it's, been, it's been good for us to be on Bible study. We have to start uh, being more obedient. If God be calling us, sometimes we don't knock back and open the door. You know, mm. we got to door and let him in. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. God bless everybody. Amen. God bless. Love y'all. Be back next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>